Elon Musk is starting his own AI company. NVIDIA graphics cards are selling for $40,000 and Meta is doing some weird drawing things. Let's talk about it. Welcome to another day, another decade. This is where we curate the top news stories every single day because I mean, every single day feels like a decade's worth of news in this space. Some of the most notable news for today Elon Musk is reportedly planning on an AI startup to compete with OpenAI, which he co-founded. There's a long story there we can cover in another video if you're interested, but pretty much he donated a bunch of money to get them off the ground. They were a non-profit and then they had some conflicting interests. Then Elon proposed a six month pause on training AI like GPT-4 and people always said, oh, he's probably just buying some time so he can do something himself. A lot of people dismissed that and said, no, it's actually concerning that AI is advancing so much so fast, but don't look at what they say, look at what they do. So Tesla's Elon Musk is working to launch an artificial intelligence firm to rival OpenAI. Musk has reportedly acquired thousands of NVIDIA graphics cards, which we talked about in a older video. He bought about 10,000 graphics cards and people thought maybe it might be a Twitter AI. I mean, it still might be, but if it's a completely standalone company, completely separate from Twitter, that might be better. We'll see and he's been recruiting AI researchers and engineers. He's been building a team of researchers and engineers and has been in conversation with multiple investors, says the Financial Times. He's also been recruiting people from other top AI firms like DeepMind. It's real and they are excited about it. A source familiar with the matter told the Financial Times. Musk has secured thousands of NVIDIA graphics card processors, according to the report, and those chips are an integral part of building a large language model or an LLM to compete with OpenAI's GPT. Musk said he was acquiring the processors for his companies in a Twitter Spaces interview with the BBC this week. It seems like everyone and their dog is buying GPUs at this point, Musk said. Twitter and Tesla are certainly buying GPUs. I mean, that's fair, but not these types of GPUs. So we can now add Elon to the list of companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and so on in the AI space. We've talked about how Microsoft is leading the pack here with OpenAI, Google kind of following along and struggling in my opinion. Meanwhile, Amazon is taking a different approach and instead of creating a competitor, they're creating different software and tools and environments and platforms for people to develop on, which is a really interesting point. It's kind of like selling shovels in a gold rush. So we're gonna have to wait and see what Elon actually wants to do here. And we make videos about this stuff every single day. So if you never want to miss a thing, hit that subscribe button and follow along. Now let's talk about NVIDIA and how they are selling their chips for over $40,000 on eBay. NVIDIA's H100 graphics cards are selling for more than $40,000 on eBay. These high-end chips are essential for training and deploying AI software. The prices were noted by 3D gaming pioneer and former meta consulting technology chief John Carmack on Twitter. The H100 was announced last year as NVIDIA's latest flagship AI chip, succeeding the A100, a roughly $10,000 chip that has been called the workhorse for AI applications. Developers are using the H100 to build so-called large language models, which are the heart of AI applications like OpenAI's ChatGPT. Running those systems is expensive and requires powerful computers to churn through terabytes of data for days or weeks at a time. They also rely on hefty computing power, so the AI model can generate text, images, or predictions. People like Microsoft have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on tens of thousands of NVIDIA A100 chips to help build ChatGPT. NVIDIA controls the vast majority of the market for AI chips. So again, this is like selling shovels in a gold rush. When everyone's trying to mine for gold, they're going to need a shovel to dig. NVIDIA also offers a supercomputer with eight GPUs working together called the DGX. Earlier this year, the company announced its new service that would allow companies to rent access to the DGX computers for $37,000 dollars a month. At that price, the system would use NVIDIA's older A100 processors. That's crazy. NVIDIA says the H100 is the first chip to be optimized for the specific AI architecture that's underpinning many of the recent advances in AI. This is called transformers. Industry experts say the more powerful chips will be necessary to build even bigger 
and more data hungry models than those that are currently available. And while all this crazy stuff is going on, what are our friends over at Facebook or Meta doing today? Well, they are creating animated drawings. They're bringing children's drawings to life by animating characters to move around. So let's jump in here and see what it's like. What you do is you upload your drawing and it shows you uploading your drawing and then what you do is you scan it, you fill it optional consent form and then you tweak your drawing i guess uh, you give it some models and it has some different actions that you can do here and then look just like that your uh, your drawing becomes animated that's about it uh if you want to see content like this hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video